Hello, in today's session, uh, we are going to learn how we can translate a post in WordPress using WPML. Okay, uh, so the very first thing, let's open the post that we want to translate. We're going to edit the English version. As you can see on the right, the English version is selected. And if you scroll down, here we have the options to translate. Now, I want you to focus on the very important point, which is this one. You have to keep this turned off, which is the WPML translation editor. This, this particular option should be turned off. And uh, the thing is, if you keep it turned on, uh, the built-in a translation editor which comes with WPML uh, does not support the Muffin Builder. So what you have to do is we have to keep it turned off. And uh, what we were we are going to do is we're going to create a duplicated version of this post by clicking on checking the duplicate option. Okay. And I believe a translation to Arabic. I believe you have to click on duplicate. Yes. Okay, once you do that, that's it. You have the duplicated post created. Of course, this is not the one. If you want to go to the duplicate translated post, you have to click on edit. This one, okay? Once you do that, you will be transferred to the Arabic post here. And one important step, one final step that you have to do before you start working on the translation you have to click on this button, translate independently. This is very, very important. Otherwise, you are going to overwrite the English version. Let me repeat myself. If you don't click on this, whatever you're writing here, let's say if you write here, uh, let me open Google Translate. Okay, so, if my internet is so slow, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that sucks. Okay. Now, if you translate this title and then you go down and translate everything, once you click on publish, it will not only update the Arabic, but it will also update the English side, which is terrible. You don't want that. So what you have to do is first click on translate independently. Okay, this will reload the page, pretty normal. Wait for the page to reload. And now you can start working on the post you do on this post it will not affect the English translation uh, the English version okay uh, you if you want to edit the English version you have to go to the English version by clicking on this this is very obvious but yeah so the important part is you have to click on translate independently the button that you uh, that was visible here if you don't want to mess up with the original uh, post which was in English I hope this helps uh, Happy working.